Hello and welcome to Breathing Design. In this video, let's take a look at how to model a curtain wall in Rivet. So before we go ahead and actually look at how to modeling this curtain wall, let's first see what a curtain wall looks like and the types that are available in Rivet. Uh, so to model a curtain wall, you have to go to wall and then under wall, uh, you basically uh, have to look for curtain wall or you can just search for it. Go to the search button and you know, uh, look for curtain wall. So here as you can see, um, there are three types that are already available. So let me just quickly uh, place each one of these and show you what it looks like. So the first one is curtain wall one. Okay, uh, you basically uh, place a curtain wall just like how you would place a wall. It's no different. So if you look at it in the 3D view, so this is what it looks like. This is just a plain glass panel uh, without any curtain grids or mullions or anything like that. So this is the first type that is curtain wall one and this is plain. You can play around with it. You can add mullions, you can add grids and you know, this is just a plain canvas and you can do anything on it. And the next option that we have is, let's go to wall again. And here we have exterior glazing. So um, let's model this one as well. All right. So in this, as you can see in the 2D form, it's just a plain uh, glass panel without anything. That is in this one, you can see a couple of lines here. As you can see, there are lines. So these lines are basically nothing but curtain grids. So later I'll be, as we move forward, I'll tell you what these curtain grids actually do and how we go about changing them. So this is just plain glass panel and this is glass panel along with curtain grids. So there's one more and that is storefront. All right, so as you can see here, we have these rectangular things. These are called as the mullions. And this is how it looks like in uh, 2D. Let's take a look at 3D. All right, so this is what it looks like in 3D. So once we are done modeling the entire curtain wall, this is basically what it looks like. You know, uh, a glass panel, uh, curtain grids, and on top of those grids, we have modules. All right, so this is the whole concept of modeling a curtain wall. All right, so um, first, let's start with a plain glass panel. Let, uh, I'll be teaching you the basics of it, like if you want to model anything, how to go about it. All right, uh, so before I do that, let me just show you this one project that I've been working on. So, all right, as you can see, this is a window or, uh, you know, a curtain panel that I've uh, placed it inside a wall. And this is what it looks like. I've modeled this whole thing by myself. This was not a window that was available. And here also, as you can see, this is like an arch window that I've modeled and for this as well I've used the curtain wall and there is one more thing that I've used curtain wall for and that is for these louvers so this is a little bit more on the complicated front so I won't be going into that for now I'll just be teaching you how to model these simple curtain walls you can use these curtain walls to model any type of glass door or any door basically and for uh, doors of different shape, sizes, and all of those things. All right, um, so let's delete these. All right, uh, so uh, the first thing is, I will be teaching you how to do this individually. Then I will show you how to place it inside a wall. All right, so uh, the first thing you'll have to do is, Let's just delete this one now. Okay, the first thing is go to wall and then pick curtain wall one and then make sure your top constraint is set properly. And then let's just create a curtain wall of width 10 feet. Okay, 
so this is what it looks like So once we are done, so by default, this will be a graph panel and that's it. We won't have anything else. So now if you want to start placing nodules, there is only one way to do it. Uh, by placing grid uh, curtain grids first and then you have to place the nodules. But in the corners, as you can see, you can automatically place nodules without having to place the curtain grids. So if you just want a simple uh, glass window with just the outer frame, you just have to place the curtain wall like this and then go to Mulian, select the size that you want and then just start placing it in the corners like this. Okay. So this is if you want a simple uh, frame like this. And another thing as you can notice is once you click on Mulian, only the outer lines were being highlighted. None of the middle lines, as you can see, you cannot just place it anywhere else. You can only place it by clicking, by placing curtain grids. All right. Uh, so only in the corners, only for the frame portion of it, you can place it without the curtain grids. So once we are done with this, now I'm just going to go ahead and place curtain grids. Okay, and to do that, let's take a section right before this one, like this, and go to this section. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so here I'm going to start placing the curtain grids. Now I'm just going to do a simple square one, like this. As you can see, the distance is equal, 5, 5. And then here as well, horizontally also I'm going to place the same thing like this. So as you can see black dotted lines here, the curtain grids have been placed. So this is basically the curtain grid. Now if you weren't able to place it at uh, appropriate uh, distance, you can always go ahead and change it. Like click on that and you can set the dimension wherever you want it. Like from there if you want it at 3 feet you can just change it. And if you want the same thing at three feet again, just go to copy and copy paste it at three feet. So this way you can place as many grids as you want to, both vertically and horizontally. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to millions. And now, as you can see, these are getting highlighted. So that means we can place the millions on this. All right. So this is what it looks like and similarly like that you can make this as bigger as possible and how, how many ever million you want you can place it like that all right so this is all about curtain grids um now, now let's move ahead to uh, the millions now as you can see here the uh, description says rectangular 2.5 inches into 5 inches. So this is the size of the mulein. And if you want to change it, you have to go to edit type. So here you have various options that are already inbuilt. So once one in square, if you go to that, so you get a small mulein like this. Let me show that in 3D. So this is what it looks like. It's one into one. It's a square mulein like this. Again, click on it if you want to change it. It's, there's another one like this. So like that, if now say for example, you have placed this big mulein over here and after this you want to place a smaller one. So what we're going to do is um, place a curtain grid first. Okay, before we place a curtain grid, if you want to be certain of the distance, just place a reference plane first. Uh, so that is half an inch. All right. So now let's draw the reference plane. So by drawing the reference plane, uh, the process, it becomes more easier and it is more precise. And then once, you're, uh, once you've placed the reference plane, go to architecture, go to curtain grid, and then on this, place a curtain grid. Now the grid has been placed. And then you, you can go to Mulean and you can place that square Mulean.
all right if you look in 3d so this is what it looks like and all right so this is what it looks like and similarly you can add as many mediums as you want to by doing this uh, you can also change uh, okay let me just show you how to change the dimension of these mediums now uh, for example you want to change the dimension of this one go to edit type and here uh, you have the thickness as two and a half which is this portion of it and dimensions you have three by four three by four on each side which adds up to 1.5 inches let me just duplicate it here first let me change this to four inches and let me change this to two inches okay and then here uh, you change the thickness to four over here so basically one on this side and one on the other side so you have to divide it equally, divide it by 2 and whatever the value comes, just put it on both the sides, put the same value on both the sides and press on OK. So this is what it looks like. So similarly, you can change the value to, uh, you can change the dimension as per your requirement and you can also change the material. You have material and finishes over here go to material here it is aluminium so in this if you want to put it in as metal or plastic or anything else if you just want to put some color you can always do that by going to material and changing the material as per your convenience so this was about the murians now that we're done with the murians if you want to change the material of this uh, glass panel as you can see over here and you want to put something else instead like if you want to put a picture or if you want to put another glass like tinted glass or something like that you can always do that by uh, just go to the section that you just created and then uh, place the cursor in front of uh, the glass and then press on tab and this one gets highlighted this particular section so just click on it and then go to edit type and over uh, here under material and finishes you can change the material of the glass you can use a tinted glass of any color that you want or you can add another material as well and there is also another option of completely deleting this uh, glass panel and keeping this empty if you want to do that you can do that by uh, selecting this and go to this and here you have an option of making it empty empty system panel select that and that way you can make this go away now um, let's take a look at how to edit the glass panels of the other two like the curtain walls of the other two types now the second one the advantage of this one is the second option is you already have certain uh, curtain wall grids placed so you don't have to like go ahead and pick and do those you can just change the distance over here oh this is already pinned so just unpin it and here you can go ahead and change the distance and you can just uh, place the mediums like this and the third one is uh, the storefront in this you already have everything placed so now you have a glass panel you have curtain grids and you have the millions placed if you want a simple one like this now all you have to do is if you want to change thickness you can just select it unpin and change the dimensions of this if you want to move around or add a couple of things you can do that but this is already done so this makes the job a lot easier so all three are pretty easy to use you can choose anything and create a curtain wall like i've created in this project thank you so much for watching the video i hope you like it if you have any doubts or concerns please reach out and uh, comment in the comment section